it would seem reasonable that if I take this towel and I put it in contact with my um, face covering that now the microorganisms that can survive the 170 degrees for 22 minutes aren't going to be, if I leave it like this for a while, aren't going to be the only thing left on this face mask. Okay, well in my last video, um, I showed how I would put the um, face covering or face mask into the oven at 170 degrees for about 22 minutes to help ensure that I've gotten rid of um, the vast majority of any coronavirus that might be on my um, face mask or face covering. Um, but today, as I was driving home from a job that I was doing, um, another solution came to me too, or another, it's a problem that I've been considering that I wasn't sure how I was going to deal with, and now I think I have a simple solution for it. So here's the problem. The problem is when I put the face mask or face covering into the oven at 170 degrees, for 22 minutes, I'm expecting that I will have disinfected the, my main concern, which is the coronavirus. Right now, the you know today is April 25th, 2020, and the coronavirus is the main concern that I have regarding what might be on my face covering. And so I want to get rid of that, and I, I believe that 170 degrees, 22 minutes in the oven, um, is likely to accomplish that but there may be a collateral concern that um, the bacteria that remain bacteria or other microorganisms that remain on the face covering would be those um, microorganisms that can survive 170 degrees for 22 minutes. Um, so what do I do about those? And um, if, you've, if you've been watching my... well, what do I do about those microorganisms that, that are still on my they're not only on my face mask, face covering, um, but because they've got so little competition on my face mask and face covering, I'm just going to call it a face covering. Um, because they've got so little competition left alive on my face covering, the organisms that can survive 170 degrees for 22 minutes will then begin to populate much more quickly and much more freely on my face covering so that let's say a month from now what I'm going to be left with is a face mask that has primarily microorganisms that can survive 170 degrees for 22 minutes. So in an effort to help avoid populating my face covering with microorganisms that can survive 170 degrees for 22 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reintroduce another Frank-friendly population into my face mask. And I think I have a simple way that I can do that. Right here I have a towel. Um, that I used yesterday to dry off um, after my shower. So that towel has dried off because it was yesterday's towel. It's, it's dried off, it's no longer moist, um, but it does have on it 
its own little microbiome. And that microbiome should be a relatively frank friendly microbiome. In other words, I'm healthy and part of what has kept me healthy is my bio the microbiome that's on my body. As you've seen in, in my other videos, or maybe maybe you haven't seen in my other videos, but um, um, I did a video on my kitchen's microbiome, and in there I also explained how you know the skin has its own microbiome. Well, this towel now has a microbiome that it, it got from me when I toweled off after yesterday's shower. So, it would seem reasonable that if I take this towel and I put it in contact with my um, face covering, that now the microorganisms that can survive the 170 degrees for 22 minutes aren't going to be, if I leave it like this for a while, aren't going to be the only thing left on this face mask, on this um, face covering, um, when I go to wear it tomorrow, or I'm not sure when my next day of work is, I'll, I'll have to check my schedule, but um, I think what I plan to do is now, after I put my face covering in the oven for 22 minutes at 170 degrees, after a daily shift um, in the retail store, where I come into contact with hundreds of people, on a daily basis, um, after I've come home from work and put the mask in the oven, put the covering in the oven for 22 minutes at 170 degrees, that should have eliminated the vast majority of any coronavirus that was on my face covering, but it left on my face covering microorganisms which can survive 170 degrees for 22 minutes. I want to not end up with a face covering that's populated very heavily with that kind of microorganism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reintroduce microorganisms that have been frank friendly for decades from the towel into my face covering so that they can continue on with their battle for survival. Um, the, the ones that can survive the 170 degrees aren't going to be the only ones that are going to be populating my face covering. In addition to those are going to be other Frank Friendly um, microorganisms getting transferred from the used towel fairly fresh used towel. It was only used yesterday. Um, I, I wouldn't consider it excessively dirty laundry. Um, so it was a clean towel that has yes, that I used to dry off yesterday um, that dried itself off in the air for roughly 12 hours or roughly 20, mm, maybe 20 hours. Um, but that still has its own population, its own microbiome, which can now transfer back to the face, can transfer into the face covering to compete for survival against those microorganisms which have been able to survive the 170 degrees for 22 minute duration that it spent in the oven. I hope that all makes sense. I know I'm going to feel better knowing that a month from now there's going to be other stuff, other frank friendly stuff on this face covering other than just those microorganisms which can survive 170 degrees in the oven for 22 minutes. I hope that makes sense. It makes a great deal of sense to me. So it is something that I'm going to start incorporating into my battle against the coronavirus. Um, again, I hope that makes sense. And have a good night. Thanks. Bye. Now, where am I going to leave this? I think it's new. 
on a nightly basis I'm going to put my towel wrapped face covering probably right here on this shelf and that'll be a new habit for me. All right. Have a good night. Bye.